notice about what's coming to their beaches. Mm. All right, time to take a look at the forecast. We got Robert with us tonight. Uh, from one uplifting story to another, yeah. we pivot toward weather. Rain. Yes, quite a bit of rain mm. as we get into the next 48 hours or so, folks. We are watching all that rainfall. Uh, so let's jump right into it. It's no rain right now. It's a nice night in Fort Smith, a couple of peaks of sunshine. It's very warm. It's windy in northwest Arkansas. You see the flags there atop the Arkansas Children's Northwest Hospital. They're blown around. Uh, winds gusting upwards of 30 miles an hour or so, but I don't think anybody's complaining at the t with the winds when we have temperatures in the mid 70s. A far cry from what we saw this past weekend where temperatures struggling to get out of the 30s and 40s. 80 right now in Fort Smith. Uh, a couple of 80s showing up in the River Valley. Uh, Roland right now, the warm spot at 81. But as I talked about, we are watching quite a bit of rainfall uh, to move in throughout the day tomorrow. Now tonight, no problems, nice and warm. You want to eat out on the back deck. Knock your socks off. It's going to be a great evening to do it. Tomorrow morning, we should be nice and quiet as well. But as we get into the afternoon hours, we first start to see some scattered sprinkles along this front that's going to be slowly sagging to the north of that front. That's where we're looking to see the best chances for widespread rainfall, heavy rain. There could be a couple of thunderstorms mixed in there as well. One or two of those might be on the strong side, maybe even the severe side. Mostly northwest Arkansas, though. Notice the River Valley most of tomorrow does remain dry. It's until Friday morning, I think, that the River Valley gets in on the action, and all of this heavy rain really continues to pinwheel in our direction throughout the morning hours on Friday, and it really won't be until Friday afternoon when the front finally clears the area that we get more spotty hit or miss showers and maybe an isolated leftover thunderstorm. But after that, it's setting up to be a very nice, warm and sunny weekend for the most part. Now, flood watch is in effect from the National Weather Service north of Interstate 40 for the most part. I think the best chances for that flooding will be up across southwest Missouri and into south central Missouri. But in terms of the severe weather, an isolated severe storm anywhere in the dark green, better chances for severe weather should remain to our south and our west, but one yeah, maybe creeping into Salisaw and Lafleur County, a slightly better chance. Uh, really, I'm worried about is the excessive rainfall. This is rainfall that's heavy enough to exceed flash flood guidance. You see a slight risk for excessive rainfall and plenty of rain will fall between one and three inches look likely through Friday. Because of all this rain, we are worried about river flooding. This is the river flood outlook from the Weather Prediction Center, watching the Illinois and the Poto River for possible significant river flooding. So if you live near those rivers, keep that in mind over the next couple of days. 60s tonight, very mild tonight, and another mild day tomorrow despite the afternoon rain. 70s across the board. Weekend looks great, though. We'll be in the 60s with lots of sunshine for this weekend, but we got to get through Thursday and Friday first. Really getting into early next week, not bad as well. Even sunshine for our Wednesday. Same thing in the River Valley, Brandon. Some storminess early Friday for the River Valley. And then a very pleasant and seasonable first weekend of spring. All right.